Hello my friends, Stevo Magneto Electrico. Today I'm going to make one of these designs, newer ones, it's like a caduceus, I've also heard it called a Tesla coil, I added a quartz in the middle, the first plant I added it to yesterday loved it, so today we'll make some more. Yeah, this one's made out of 10 gauged galvanized steel. The one we'll make today is going to be 12 gauge copper. Yeah, today we'll be using this board. It's popsicle stick style. I um, just kind of piece this together. The main thing is, is it cut down the middle and then the screw and then in addition to that we'll be using a screwdriver later. The simplest tools to make this spiral today. I'm gonna start off with just lining up the wire kinda giving it a nice length to start and then we'll do the double coil and I'll show you in a moment. We'll start off with a counterclockwise spiral. Yeah, basically just drilled a hole for the screw. And then now we have everything ready to go. Starting with, the with one spiral complete. What I'm going to do is keep wrapping around this screw. Again, I'm going counterclockwise. You can adjust the screw as needed. Um, just making sure that you wrap it around, keeping it flat against the board and keeping the shape tight, keeping the spiral um, going around each circle. We're about four spirals going counterclockwise, going around the screw, following each circle. I might go maybe 9 or 12 for this one. We'll see. I have 9 spirals completed. We'll stop there. This looks really good. I'm going to take out the screw, flip it around, and I'll show you everything in a moment. Have the screw removed, and we're going to flip it. From the other side you could see it's a uh, clockwise spiral now starting off counterclockwise. We got the screw placed back in, we got the spiral, the first one that we made, flipped. We got our wrapped around the screw on the other side. And then we're about to start clockwise on this side. What I used was um, quarter inch wood. I was hoping to go, or no, this is almost eighth of an inch. I was hoping to go um, quarter inch at the end between each spiral. Um, if me have about six wraps around counterclockwise, I want to say it's a little more than um, a quarter apart, and then we'll fix that a little later. Got about nine completed, and that's on both sides. We'll go ahead and remove the screw, and then we'll start shaping the coil. I did overlap without staying flat to the board, and because it's copper, it's a little more forgiving, softer metal, but if it was this galvanized, it, it would be a lot more um, difficult to kind of shape it later. Not saying that it's uh, impossible, I, I just want to say um, if you go around each circle and complete it flat against the board, you'll have a lot more success at the end as you're doing the double spirals. Screw removed. And now this is why we have the slice in the board that I made. And then the screw right next to it. Have everything completed. Looking at it on both sides. You gotta stick this directly into a plant. I usually don't um, 
use this much copper. The 12 gauge that I got was 12, or sorry, 17 cents a foot. And that's 17 cents out of one dollar. Yeah, and what, what I mean by um, not use as much copper, usually I wouldn't make it as long, but this time I'm going to make it a little longer. Go ahead and take the screwdriver to shape everything. Yeah, using the screwdriver, I'm just going to start in the middle and start prying and then winding around until I got everything opened. Looks like this one's going to be part of the bloopers. Made a mistake somewhere. I made a mistake somewhere, so all I did is just flip it around. And then I'm just going to start this way so I can finish the video. Um, I'll, I'll make sure I leave the right instructions, um, but we'll, we'll just continue this way. Due to my error, I had to start over, but I'm just going to do my coils, remove the screw, and then shape my next spiral. First one's already done using the screwdriver. You have both coils finished, and then I'll um, shape it now. First time I started in the middle when I was shaping it, this time I'm starting at the end. Have the second spiral start it. Got the last coil spaced out, and all I do is just keep winding around until I'm done. Not the most pristine, but it will work. Next, I'm going to put a crystal in the center. was thinking of putting a bead at the beginning. You'd have to do that at the beginning. Um, yeah, but we'll add a crystal in the center. Not necessary, but it'll be an added effect. I found this quartz crystal with a hole in it already. You can use any quartz that you may have. Um, what I already did is wrap it with copper. And then as I did with the original one that I made yesterday, I'll go ahead and add a crystal to the one that we made today. To add the quartz crystal, I'm just gonna center it and then since I already have the quartz wrapped, I'll just uh, fasten it and um, make sure that it's tight. This is the original one I did. I'll just wrap it here a few times and then uh, do the next side. Have the first side wrapped. Now the second side wrap. I'll cut off the excess copper. Earlier I said you um, or what we're going to use is the simplest tools: the board, board with the screw, line, cut in the middle, hole. But I'm also, in addition to the screwdriver. I'm going to use wire cutters just to cut off that excess here in the middle. So um, most likely you always want to make sure you at least have these two items. If you are working with wire, if you're making these spirals. And then here I'm just going to cut off the excess. Have the quartz wrapped. Center of the spiral. And then we'll go ahead and close it. Looks like everything's completed. I could definitely make this wrap a lot tighter. Um, but for now, I just wanted to kind of show you how it should look. Yours will probably look a lot better. Um, finished product. We have our coil. Shape of a caduceus. Some could say Tesla coil quartz crystal in the center. Thank you for joining me today.
have a great day everyone and if this helps your garden please leave a like if it helps in any way please let me know in the comments have a great day again thank you Oh yeah, and please use any um, crystal you may have if you wanted to use amethyst or something else. Um, you may just want to wrap it a few times, leave two copper ends. From there you can fit it in the center of your coil that you made. Have a great day everyone.